we thought we had them on the ropes. We were certain, sure of ourselves. We'd risen from the sand and we'd brought steel to the holy nation. Yet seven of us lie locked up and others lie still. Their stories ended. But still, we, the unbroken, continue to survive. Our confidence was not unfounded. Every city before had fallen to us, but the Phoenix had pulled those still loyal to him close. They were ready for us. We were on their home turf. Now was the time to rebuild, to reforge, and to find others that might help us. Our journey home was sure not to be safe, but we had each other. We had the determination to see it through, and so we would. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Raikon here, and welcome back to Kenshi. We are beginning today's episode with our travellers on the road, just having travelled past a holy farm. Along the way we have encountered some hungry bandits who I believe have made a terrible mistake in attacking us. We're going to take all of our team off hold, off passive, and we're going to let them do what they do best, as we are going to turn and attack all and after the fighting that we've been doing we should be able to make relatively quick work of this group here a few attacks coming through here park even though he's carrying barker there isn't <laughs> going to have too much trouble and sure enough they fall very quickly to our more experienced team we are having them travel straight back towards home we have the chance to stop off in some potentially well, helpful places, Stack and Bad Teeth are now places that we can stop, and I'm tempted to stop off there. We can see that we have a location marked on our map out in all of this fog, Mongrel. Perhaps it is a destination that Sand might want to travel to, and actually looking at Sand right now, he's in pretty good condition. If he was to make a journey by himself somewhere, perhaps to find other allies, now might be the opportunity to do that. And so as much as it pains him to leave the others on their journey back home, investigating that location might be paramount at this stage. And he is off on his own journey, actually running a little bit back, but well off track. And as to where he's going to enter this from, I guess we will find out. It looks like we're going to be going through mostly unknown territories. And Sand would travel alone, if not for Dogmeat, who is going to accompany Sand and make sure that he doesn't do anything too stupid. <laughs> Thankfully, Dogmeat is actually in pretty good condition. The others shouldn't have any trouble on their way back unless we do run into the Holy Nation. And there is a chance that we might hit one of their patrols here. I am going to want Dogmeat and Sand to meet back up. And I want to make sure that Dogmeat is going to be traveling at full Dogmeat pace. The same thing with Sand. All right, we're going to get you to hang just here for a second, buddy, and allow Dogmeat a chance to actually catch up with you. As the others continue on, back home, things are going well. We've got a decent amount of food stockpiled and we've been doing some research into advanced medical kits and splints, as I believe we will have need for them in the future. Let's just have a look at their athletics here. They, they seem to be similar, but <laughs> I want them to try and keep pace with each other, so yeah, we'll just have them on, the, on that for now. But these two are used to traveling alone, well, at least with lower numbers, and they do just fine. Sand, I believe, <laughs> has a bit of food. We've got a few days rations that should be enough to uh, see us through. And we still have that gurglers head in here, the King Gurgler, which I imagine smells pretty horrible by now. We are actually going past a holy military base, so we'll keep an eye out to see if they cause us any issues. I think we're gonna be okay here. I'm going to leave Sand and Dogmeat in the same team, so that if we see that flash at all, we know that our folks that are outside of our walls 
are in trouble. But it seems like we're not going to get really paid any attention at all as we run on past here. There are members of the Holy Nation guarding. Holy Sentinels still holding out. Most of their cities have fallen, but these little outposts do stand still. Even if we do take down the Phoenix, I wonder if these other places might still stand. Hmm. The Holy Phoenix is just one man, and I don't think he's the only thing holding together the Holy Nation. Yeah. Our mission might be a little bit more complicated than we once thought. But as we <laughs> emerge over the hills, we can see quite possibly the, the thickest fog we have seen yet. And yeah, that's saying something. We can barely see anything down there. But we know that on our map, we have a location called Mongrel. We just need to hope that we're going to be able to find it. Uh, before we do though, but before we do, we must return to the others. And out the front of Stack, it looks like we have some bandits that want to try and give us a little bit of trouble. They did get some early hits in there, but uh, as we know, they're really not going to be able to stand up against us. Our weapons that we have are much more geared to fighting foes like this. We can see that Orin is going to be a fair bit slower. That's something that we are going to be trying to rectify when we get back. We are only going to have weapons that we can actually lift properly. Hanbu able to swing that thing just fine. See Rain struggling with that as well. Yeah, scurvy bandits. Don't worry Park, we feel the same way. And oh nice, Bonnie managed to have a little bit of a snack. A left arm. Wonderful. It'll keep you fed for now Bonnie. Back to the road and back to Sand and Dogmeat, who we have had j just sneaking here for the time being. We really don't know what we're going into in here. So we're going to have to be kind of cautious and we will be accelerating time in small jumps. We can see the remains of a very, very large structure, something that we can actually mine. And I imagine you'd be able to get a few people mining that. Let's keep those eyes peeled. We are now within the Fog Islands. We can't hear much, just the occasional rock tumbling down the valley sides. The mist near all encompassing. Sand and Dogmeat trying to keep their eyes open. Sand might have heard old tales from Hobbes before he passed about this region and about the potential dangers that lurk within. Again, sounding like the ravings of an old madman. But some of the things that that old man told us turned out to be true. So we have to pay them some kind of credence. Looks like there are these small islands, these fog islands, that we can get a little bit of view in. And this isn't actually a bad little spot here. This crater... You could have quite the base here. And looking at the front of it, there seems to only really be that entrance here, but we are running towards the back, so there must be another way out. And I think it might be a complicated <laughs> route out that way. Yeah, just these little pools. Let's see how we manage here. Ah, I see. There is a way through here. And surprisingly, it's nowhere near as foggy as I anticipated it to be. I guess only sections of the fog islands are completely foggy. Looks like we might be descending back into it though before we reach this mongrel. So far, so good though. No wildlife and no other folk. Let's see. Well, it looks like we're about halfway through at this stage. Mongrel might be within sight soon. Something's loading. Let's keep our eyes peeled and ah there all right oh yeah it's loading quite a lot let's have just a little stop here for a moment you two we'll see what we can make out on the other side
Yes, it looks like there is a way through this fog up towards some kind of gate. Well, I gotta assume that that's the direction that we wanna go. We are gonna jump out of sneak there and follow them both closely as we make our way through the fog. Yeah, no problems at all. Now, I, I have been here once before in Kenshi. I did play a little bit before we began with uh, Sans Tail. I've been here before, and the fact that we've made it through without encountering anyone yet, it's kind of a miracle, I'll be honest. Oh, and here we go. We're not gonna make it through entirely alone. Let's get these two back together, because we can see down here some interesting folk. They look like the hivers that we've seen in the past, but they're different. These folk are called the fog men. And they are, well, dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. You might be able to tell from some of these poles and structures exactly the kind of people they are. And it looks like they might have gotten scent of something or someone. <laughs> that someone being us. And so we're going to have to try and see if we can't navigate around this rubble here and make our way back up towards this <laughs> this gate. Oh boy. Um, we are being chased. We can see them now running up through up through the uh, the remains of these great structures, but I think we're going to be able to make it there. There are so many of them here, like ants scattering across the surface. We're most certainly going to try to avoid them. Dog meat, just a little bit slower than sand, but I think the two of us are going to be able to make it here. And you know what? To earn the trust of whoever these people are, we might see if we can fight alongside them. Shinobi guards. Well, well, well. We are a member of the Shinobi Thieves. If they are based here, we might be able to do relatively well for ourselves. Okay. Ah, they have engaged the Fogmen down there. It looks like just one of them has made it up so far. But Sand and Dogmeat are running in to help. And sure enough, Dogmeat makes pretty quick work of that one there. I don't think any others were bold enough to push the walls. Let's just see. Did you have anything in particular on you? Just this iron stick. A rusting blade made by unknown. Well, that's not going to be very good for them, is it? Let's head up towards here and see if Sand can have a bit of a conversation. We do have uh, two, well, all the guards here, actually, we can talk to, apart from the one in the center. Let's see about chatting with uh, this one here, perhaps, Sand. Let's see what they've got. A new guy. Must be tougher than you look, making it here to the city in one piece. What can you tell me about the place? People don't make a habit of visiting here. If you're lucky enough to make it to Mongrel, you're stuck in Mongrel. The plus side? No one will find you in this town, if you got someone to hide from, that is. Around here you'll find mostly outlaws and ex-slaves. Right. See. Any advice you can give? If you're staying, keep your head down. If you're heading out, well, you should avoid the death yards altogether. The mist tends to swallow up travelers, shall we say. Same goes for the floodlands up north. If you make it out of the mist, that is. You see, people who go to the floodlands, they don't come back. Well, what happens to people in the death yards? No one really knows. Some reckon it's to do with evil spirits. Then you got others who believe in the curse of the mist. People get lost, lose their sanity, starve to death. What about the floodlands? It's a place where adventurers and treasure hunters go and never come back from. Like always, the idiots. Some say the killer machines get to them. But me, I reckon all those missing people saw something they weren't supposed to see. Well, uh, thanks for the warning. Any work around these ways? At the moment, no jobs. They're dry. 
Come back in a few months, sir. Thanks. Well, <laughs> we've learned about two other locations. The Floodlands and the Death Yards. I'm guessing this is the Death Yards up here, and this must be the Floodlands to the north that they were speaking of. Both seem like interesting locations, and we actually know of a rune up here in these Floodlands. We've seen machines before in the Black Desert, but those machines were unmoving, well, seemingly so. <laughs> We've seen active ones before, but we have made it into Mongrel proper, and it looks like the city is run by the Shinobi Thieves, or maybe part of their faction. Zenzo Bike over here seems to be looking pretty tough. Let's see if we can have a conversation. Yeah, we've got people of all kinds here. Shek, Hivers, lots of different type. Hmm. Being stuck in this godforsaken place is enough to drive you stir crazy. Take a seat, Outlander. You're gonna be here for a while. Ah, uh, stuck? Why can't you leave? The Death Yards, Traveler. You have to be out of your mind to set foot in those cursed valleys. I came here to escape prison, but it turns out that this is just another prison in another guise. More hellish than the last. Look, I'm not planning on staying here forever. I'm looking for people. People who can take care of themselves. Fight. How about you escape with me? Are you crazy? No one goes out into the fog and comes out alive. You're only lucky to make it to Mongrel. Don't tempt fate, newbie. Look, you sure? I ain't afraid of no death yards. People who survive the death yard, they don't talk about the death yard. I ain't going back out there, and I suggest you don't either. Hmm. <laughs> Look, I came here, and I'll leave here. <sighs> Let's see. Let's try one more time, if we can. It looks like we'll have to come back to you later. No? Hmm. We'll push. You sure you don't want to join? You get a chance with me, or you stay here for good? No means no. Well, I guess we're not going to convince him, at least yet. I would like to have someone like him on our side. He does have, well, better than start-off stats, and honestly, that's kind of what we're looking for in a place like this. Dogmeat, just hang outside for now. We do have some things that we can trade, so let's have a, a talk with this old uh, machine man here. It's a skeleton doctor. I see. Let's... Oh, you do actually have quite a lot of limbs here. Limbs that we could probably try to purchase. And we really want to try and look for someone who has the most amount of cats. 25,000 isn't bad. We want to try and get the most bang for our buck with our... Gurgler head. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we can hand it in exactly. But we can sell it. And, uh, yeah, it looks like our friend's just resting up in here. Let's do some business. We can buy green fruit here. I would be tempted to try and buy some because we're trying to grow some back home. Um, you know what? Dog meat, can you take this in your backpack? You can, and you can stag. You beautiful papa, you. I think that's all that we can take at this stage. Yeah. It left the doom. Not bad. All right. Who else do we have in here? Shrike. I mean... You've just got an excellent name, and you're looking like a freaking badass over here, looking like a damn vampire. Shrike, let's have a let's have a conversation. Stranded in this dead town, and for what? Some puffed up tech hunter rumors of AI cores and CPU units. Well, goodbye to blue skies, goodbye to sunlight, and so long desert breeze. Now there's the songs of the fog to listen to instead. Listen to that. And there, you've got yourself a few sleepless nights. And don't even get me started on the food. How much longer are the reserves going to last on this marooned island, eh? Hmm. 
Anyway, looks like you're one of us now. Welcome to the party. I don't want to be a party pooper. Don't talk about the fog, or what's in it for that matter. The screeches and the groans are enough of a reminder already. How long have you been here? Too long. Don't tend to keep track of the days in this place, but I'd say a year or so now. Long enough to start feeling the mongrel crazy, at least. Hmm. How about you leave with me? I'm planning on packing up, leaving in a few days, after I've got some folk. Well, you've got a nice-sized crowd following you. I guess speaking to dogmeat there. And you all made it here in one piece. That is something. But is it enough, I wonder? Hmm. Ah, to the abyss with it. I might not ever get another chance. Well, excellent. We have managed to recruit someone so far. Shrike, who is, um, well, let's have a look at those skills. A little bit of, a little bit of athletics. A little bit of weapon skills. So starting off, but seems to have quite a cool story and just style to them overall. How good are you going to be with that pole arm, I wonder? I mean, yeah, we'll leave you with it for now. And Shrike, let's have you bodyguarding Sand for now, as Sand is going to be trying to have a chat with some of the others around here. Nothing else would want from the barman, I think, at this stage. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We've got an extra person. And a pretty interesting one at that. No one else up the top? Okay. Noted. Let's head on into some of the other buildings around here to see what we can find. I wonder if this is a shinobi headquarters of some kind. It doesn't have a sign out the front and they do have... Um, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a barracks. But who does it belong to? I guess just to the town guard. No one here that we can chat to specifically with Sand, okay. No one seems to be awake. We aren't going to be uh, stealing from these people as they... Well, they seem to be relatively welcoming. We've got our regular added town merchants in here. And it looks like we might have a clothes shop, which is strange. Usually we just find armorers. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm intrigued what they might be selling here. What do you have for us, huh? Let's do some trading. Um, right. I think we, yeah. We should already know these, I believe. Leather shirt, I guess we don't. We, we know the turtleneck recipe, but we don't know one for just leather shirts. Might be worth us picking that up. It is a bit expensive, really, for what it is, I think. Rusty chain shirt. Samurai cloth pants, we already know. Yeah, see, that's, uh... That's a little too pricey for my liking. Same amount, looks like, in terms of, uh, yeah, money available to them. Black cloth shirt. Yeah, black cloth shirt isn't going to make a difference at all. Cargo pants, reinforced. Okay. Half pants, reinforced. Tempted to pick that up, because I think, yeah... Sneaky chain. Okay, interesting. So, so so, for some of our lighter armored troops, we might be able to look at doing that. I think if we we're going to, we'd want to go for the Cairo pants reinforced. I think they would be a little bit better than these half pants. Yeah, let's look at picking that up. I feel like that's a worthwhile trade for us to make. We can always make more coin back home as well, so... We've got that going for us. You know what? It is pricey, but we'll pick that up as well. I accept your trade. Let's get those learnt. Let's move on to our next building. We've got a lot of buildings to go through here, actually. Mongrel is a pretty decently sized place by the looks of things. There are a number of bars, so I guess that's a number of opportunities for us to find people to talk to. We'll go through some of these other smaller places. We'll work our way around kind of like this for now. Anything of interest in here? No, just some other guards. We'll go to the explorers. Well, I guess market. And we'll have a chat and see what they've got for us. We can always pick up a... Oh no. <laughs> I think it's finally happened. 
Well, I know many of you will be happy. Looks like we have a, uh, there's someone trying to trail us down to the streets outside. We'll have a chat to them after this, but they seem to just be beeping incessantly. (laughs) Oh, it was going to happen eventually. All right, we already know Drifter's boots, so we don't have to pick that up. It would be worth us having maybe a sleeping bag with us here. Or at the very least, a small backpack for Shrike. Yeah, it's not going to affect their skills too much. Hmm. You know what? I think we're going to pick up something. We'll pick up something small for now. Screw it. I was going to pick up something larger, but we don't need something larger yet. We might, eventually. We are going to trade. We'll try to. Shrike is making this a little bit hard for us to do. And uh, we will (laughs) have a chat to this individual that's trying to chase us down. Shrike, for some reason, is just running away from us right now. I don't know why. They're trying to keep a distance and bodyguard at the same time. And, well, all right. What is with you then, hmm? We're going to do this. Beep. Uh, what? Sorry. I beep when I'm nervous. That is, uh, more than a little weird. They exiled me from the hive. Just because you keep saying beep? I'm I'm defective. Not good for the hive. But beep doesn't give up. Beep is strong. Since I left the hive, I can feel my mind changing. The way I feel. The way I think. Having thoughts I've never had before. I want freedom. But everywhere I go, things try to kill me or chase me. Beep tires are running. Time to stab the things that chase me. Right. Okay. (sighs) Look. How much do you want? We might be able to use an extra hand. Mm, How much what? I don't know what that means. I see. Well, in that case, welcome to the team for now. Just try and keep it down. Well... (laughs) There we go. We finally have Beep, who seems to be a fan favorite among the Kenshi community. <laughs> Beep, let's see if we can actually get you back alive to Sand City. With those skills, we'll have a interesting time, to say the least. Oh dear. Well, Barman, do you have anything of use for us? There's no one else here. Oh, this is a construction trader, actually. Well, we're not going to be picking up any construction supplies, I think, and we already know all those blueprints, so we'll more than likely be carrying on towards the next location, slowly making our way through, and you know what? Let's just do a little bit of a checkup on our travelers and see exactly where they are. Uh, not bad. Not bad. It looks like they might have split up a little bit here, which is uh, concerning. We do have an ally who is kind of a little bit further back by stack. Time to investigate. Bonnie. Bonnie, 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 who is trying to stay close to dog meat. We're going to keep a close eye on you. But we're also going to quickly check out and see what we can pick up here. I don't think there's anything specific that we are desperately after now at this stage. We know most of the research that we want, although there's always a chance that there might be something here that we haven't seen. A lot of specialist grade stuff, which is actually you know surprising to see that ashland hat looks absolutely fantastic and i feel like that would fit uh shrike's kind of style really really well this uh this doesn't seem to cost much though yeah barely anything so i'm more than happy to pick that up because i feel like that's just a great style uh can we get that to shrike from here i don't know if we can Yes, it looks like we can. We're going to have to get rid of really cool glasses, though, unfortunately, for the time being. These storm goggles. I've actually started trying to make some of those back home. But, uh, yeah. Ah, to the stone golem. Huh. I guess we have a little bit of, uh, yeah, a little bit of fame here. And, <laughs> yeah, and hair is clipping a little bit there, but that's, that's, that's a pretty cool look. I like it. Hmm. To the... 
sheik on? Okay, okay. Well, we can't have a chat with you, can we? No, we cannot. Let's see if we can find some others we can have a chat to. But first, it would seem some foes are causing Bonnie a little bit of trouble, and they actually seem to be keeping up with Bonnie. So I tell you what, Bonnie, how about we <laughs> quickly show them why they shouldn't be doing what they're doing? Yeah, maybe a bit of a mistake there. And they're going to bleed out very, very quickly because bone dogs, you don't mess around with bone dogs. And that's something that we should actually keep in mind because, well, in the future, that's going to make a really big difference. We see our other folk are actually heading back this way, surprisingly enough, which I'm not sure why they are doing that. They are still on a move order. Barker, are you awake? And you can walk now, so... Let's just stop them all for a second. Just hang about here for, for now. And let's go put down Barker. There we go. Alright team. Barker, you don't have any missions. That's good. We are going to be running back towards home. Thank you. And it looks like they are heading back in the right direction now. Bonnie included in that. And as for our others, let's see. Where are you going, Sand? Oh, you. I think I included you in that move order. That is my mistake. All of you back here, thank you. <laughs> yes. And the rest can just follow Sand as he moves about. Let's have a look in some of these buildings, see if we can't find some folk. Please go away. Okay, more than, more than happy to. I will wait outside. Do you want to have a chat at all? No? They are... Hmm. They're not half bad. Hey, look, we're gone. We're gone. Leave me be. <laughs> we're out of here. Let's go inside into the building, see if they leave us be. That's a pretty quiet-looking bar, really. No one's upstairs. We've got another bar here. It seems like we've got a lot of them stacked throughout Mongrel. I guess there's not much better to do. And here we go. This place is packed with folk. Quite a few of them it looks like we can have a chat to and we are definitely in need of others okay we've got creds over here in the corner only two people that we can have a chat to by the looks of things all right well looks like we're going to start with old hergel here <laughs> who does seem to have a little bit of uh skill to them already a hiver is not complete without a master to serve most of us, at least anyway. Are you interested in hiring me for 5,000 cats, Outlander? Yeah, I'd say we are. Let's go ahead and pick them up. This is this is one of the basic companions, I guess you could say. We'll go ahead and take them for now. Uh, Shrike and Beep both seem to be kind of more custom. We're going to make sure that we are bodyguarding Sand. Staying nice and close here, and it looks like we're going to be able to have a chat to Creds over here. Let's see. Looking to buy. Let's see what he's selling. Nothing. <laughs> okay, thanks, Creds. That's, uh, that's super helpful, my friend. Super freaking helpful. Uh, no one's up the top here. Okay, and it looks like we've got two shops. We've got one that seems to sell regular weapons and one that is selling ranged stuff. Wouldn't mind picking up some more... I guess, blueprints for them. And, uh, yeah. We don't know how to make pole arms? Interesting. Short cleavers, naginatas, ninja blades, ring savers. We've actually started making spiked clubs back at home because uh, they can do a lot of damage, uh, especially to armoured foes. And we're coming up against armour more often than not when we're fighting the Holy Nation, so they're going to be our new weapon class for us. We're going to have options will have the katanas and those so they can kind of choose between them based upon the scenario i would hope that they would choose the weapon that is best suited to the combat but i guess we won't know until we try no one we can talk to in here so let's just see what we can buy and yeah some nice weapons and some bolt recipes which we already know so yeah nothing in there for us i guess we can check out this uh Location at the back. See if there's anything interesting inside. Any one interesting? No, it's just a battery bank. And looking out the back here, we do have some fuel storage and a bit of a gap in the wall. 
Uh, just a nice outhouse right on the edge. Quite the view from that outhouse, I might say. Yeah, it looks like we've actually had a look around most of Mungrel now at this point. We've just got this one building here. And yeah, I think we went into the marketplace at the start. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, marketplace and then what I think is the headquarters of the Shinobi Thieves. Yes, okay, nice. We can probably try and buy some things from there, but there ain't going to be much else that we can do with it, I think. Yeah, we've pretty much checked out everything now, I think. We can't be certain. And it just looks like it's another guardhouse. I was hoping to find more folk here, but I think starting off with just four isn't too bad, considering it is going to be difficult to run out of here. <laughs> yeah, those frogmen were fast. And there's a chance that they're going to pick off some of them on the way out of here. I really hope that that doesn't happen, but I guess we'll see. We'll have a chat to our allies in here, see if there's anything interesting they can do for us. Let's see, uh, do we want to change up our... I guess we could, yeah. Hmm, sand. Is it time for a haircut? I think it might be, my friend. You know, it's been a little while. I think there's a chance that that beard of yours might have grown out even further. Let's see what we got. Yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's maybe looking a little bit more. We'll see how far we can kind of push that. Yeah, I don't think he's kind of got to that portion, but he's he's definitely been growing this thing out. <laughs> We're definitely not there yet. Let's see, we could go for something that's a little bit more scraggly. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks a bit ratty, but uh, it'll do. As for his, the rest of his hair, it has been growing out a bit, so maybe it's time for a trim. But you know what? I think... Uh, I think I can see sand with a few scars after all of this. Most of the time his face is covered by his helm, but he's been through a lot in the last wee while. Yeah, I like it. And we don't need anything else from the rest, but we will try and see if we can have a chat to, well, the fence here. They should be able to sell us some things for pretty cheap. And I'm tempted to see if we can Oh, there's no one here. There's got to be someone. Who of you is selling? Might be... Ah, you. There we go. All right. Hmm. Yeah, nothing I think that we want. It's pretty cheap, but we can make this stuff easy enough back at home. No, I think that's the lot. And that means that this lot need to... Get the heck out of here. Where, where, where did you go? Oh, what are they doing? Where are they going? Staying close? How is this staying close? Shrike and Hergel, I have no idea what you're trying to do right now, but it's really not helping. I have no idea where they're going. Can you get back into Mungrel? Is Beep out here as well? Yep. For some reason, Beep's name doesn't show up, but... I, I, what are you doing? What? <laughs> That's not going to help anyone. Well, once we have them grouped back together, we're going to look at getting out of this place and moving on because we're, we're going to have to. I will try and stop by a few other villages on the way back to see if we can bolster our numbers and it seems like Hergel is already in trouble. I don't know why they've done this to themselves. <laughs> Get back in one piece, please. Come on. While Shrike is getting attacked, I think <laughs> the rest have been able to make it back in here. Thankfully, in one piece. Jeez. Yep, we've got one still chasing us now. Go on, Shrike. Leave the others behind. Wow, okay. Can we all stick together now, please? <laughs> I'd be very grateful. <laughs> I think it could have been from trying to bodyguard Sand for some reason they were just trying to stay close, but in staying close they're not staying close. I don't know. I'm not sure what they're doing. I'm, I I don't even know where they're going now. Sand is going to medic, or trying to medic one of them, but Shrike for some reason. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some odd things happening here. But for now, they are together, and we are going to look at running all the way back. Let's see, could be very well to stack. 
Okay, team. We make we need to make sure that they are all running the same speed as each other. Even though that is going to be a little dangerous, we want them to be a pack. Because that pack will have, well, strength once they don't get stuck on things like this. Ah, oh dear. I think we're going to have to pay very close attention to this group here. Onwards and potentially upwards. And our other group, Bonnie included, are just going past Squin at the moment. We could make a quick stop in there to see if there's anyone that wishes to uh, join our cause on the way back here. And I feel like that would be worthwhile doing. At this stage, we can probably keep most of our team carrying on. We might just get Park to go in solo. As he's going to be fast enough to do that. Break away from the others, my friend. Welcome back to Squin. Hmm. They're certainly not our allies, but right now they're not our enemies. Yet. And we are certainly running the gauntlet here. The question of whether or not we're going to be faster than them... Looks like that's been answered already. They are definitely faster than us. The next question of whether or not we're going to stand and try and fight them. Well, looks like we're going to have no other choice. Right now, we aren't outnumbered. So, we should take advantage of that. And strike out with our group here. Sand and Dogmeat are going to be able to make quick work of this lot. Let's see if we can get Beep a weapon from this. Hergul's already rocking a decent one here. But maybe. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. Uh, yeah, Beep might be able to be a martial artist. But I think having a weapon in his hand is going to make a bit of a difference. Dogmeat, don't go far. You're paying. <laughs> Playing fetch with those pieces. Mm. Beep, you're going to be okay, buddy. I know your arm took a little bit of a whack in there. I don't suppose there's anything down there that we could loot. No, this is Fogbin stuff. They're not going to have anything for us. <laughs> Let's keep on moving. Out of here. To stack, please. And Park has arrived in Squin. But we're greeted with a pretty empty tavern here. Looks like we've got one person over here in the corner. Makani that we might be able to have a chat to. Hex. Baj. You know what? Sure. Let's have a bit of a conversation here. And after a quick chat, it looks like all three of them will be willing to join us. They are all um, just kind of basic companions, but... Oh boy. More trouble is brewing. Let's get gone. This time, there's a lot more coming after us, so... Let's be careful, folks. We are going to make sure that we have the rest of them here on block. It's going to give them a much better chance to survive early on. They're going to need it, and we're going to let Dogmeat and Sand do the heavy lifting here. Hopefully, the others will be able to hold back while Sand just tears through a number of them here. We can see that they do outnumber us by a decent amount, but... With no armor on at all, this katana is going to do exactly what it is uh, meant to do. Naginata, sorry. And Sand is going to be able to improve that skill as he starts to tear through them. Oh dear. Beep, hang in there, buddy. He's taking a bit of a whack, but Dogbeat's come to the rescue, taking out the others there. We're going to have to do a little bit of first aid before we move on. Sand, how about you uh, get to work there? Yeah, Beep is indeed. Dogmeat... That's one happy pup if I've ever seen one. There we go. All better. Oh no. Of course there's more. Well, if we don't have to run to attack them, let's not. If they come for us, then... <laughs> then we'll worry about it. Otherwise, we'll let Sand do what he can to try and heal the rest. And then we'll look at moving on. Let's go. Back in Squin, we've managed to pick up another friend, Kang, who does actually seem to be more than just your standard. Kang, welcome to the team. Those are some alright starting stats for us to work with. Doesn't look like there's anyone else here other than a pacifier that we can speak to in this tavern. Ah, I stand corrected. We have a dirt. Hmm, and Swick. Alright. Park, have a chat. 
dirt and squick. And again, after exchanging some quick cats, looks like we are going to be able to uh, get them to Bodyguard Park for the time being, Kang included. And we've got some more to fight in our cause. I think that's going to be the last of them here in Squin. So Park, it's time to carry on. Let's stop by that way station on the way back. Our original group is at nearly home. And sure enough, they have made it back. And in one piece, no less. Well, it looks like we can't stick with them for too long, though. <laughs> Trouble is always brewing out there, and we'll have to investigate. Well, if we are being followed, it's by a foe that's far away, with another death yard being wiped out. I think we might be a little bit safer for the time being. Well, an alarm has been raised somewhere, and if I had to guess, I'd say it's back here. Hmm. Ziff. The others are being cared for as much as they can be in here. While locked up, Ziff is having more trouble. It is here that the alarm was going. I think it could have been one of the other Sheik. It still sounds horrible in here. And I don't think there's anyone or anywhere Ziff can go at this stage. All of these cells are full. If he can make his way into one, he'd actually be okay. The issue is, they're all full. So, yeah. That's our issue with poor Crag here. With that hunger rate slowly going down, it's not looking good. Is there anywhere else you can be? I'd sure as hell like to find somewhere for you, my friend. But yes, the others have made it back home. And Ziff is having trouble in the big house without having somewhere to stay. It's looking dire. For now though, some of our team have returned. They'll be able to jump back into the Iron District to be able to start creating the weapons that we will need for this war. Yet again, it would seem that our friends are in trouble against a decent number of Fogmen, no less. Let's get ready to stand our ground here, team. Sand and Dogmeat are opening up with a decent strike here. Shrike is holding their own really well against these Fogmen here. With block enabled, they should be able to stand up to quite a few. Oh, and Beep has gone down. Beep, hang in there, buddy. We're going to see to you as soon as we can. All right, let's get that healing done fast. How bad are your wounds? Your right leg's not looking good. This is the <laughs> issue with Hivers and why Hivers actually have so many robotic limbs uh, usually with them because their limbs aren't exactly the, the, uh, the toughest thing in the world. And we can see that a lot of these strikes that... Um, dog meat and sand are doing are just outright killing these fog men yeah because uh, <laughs> the weapons that they have are actually really really quite good but we're nearly out of the fog at this stage that is my goal with this group and well with poor beep feeling the way he is it's going to take him a lot longer to move so we'll go ahead and pick him up we'll splint those injuries if it's possible no splint kits with us well i guess it's going to be picking you one up for now and that's going to speed us up overall and give us, I think, the speed that we're going to need to get out of this fog. Oh, how nice. Another severed left arm. And more alarms going on back at the big house. Unfortunately, it is poor Ziff who... <sighs> doesn't have anywhere else they can be. But you know what? The others aren't going to let this happen. Stubbs Mimuso doesn't need a cage and he can try to escape this one so that we might be able to get Ziff in here in and out of consciousness and it's going to be close break away if you can my friend the others might have a chance to do the same we'll try looks like it is chaos out here with Damn, who's fighting out here? Another one of the Sheik, a hundred guardian, back up on their feet, doing what they can. 
Come on. You can do this, team. You can do this. All of them now. Up the top, up the bottom. They're all trying. Ridley is actually completely good to go. Now might be our time, Ridley. Let's escape. And the alarm has been raised. Well, if you can get away, that means that Ziff can be put back in there. Ziff, where are you now? You're all the way down here. If we can get to you in time, we will. Ridley, how fast are you going to be here? Ziff has already been taken. Well, if that's the case, Ridley, if you can run and keep on running, make it to stack. Oh, no. Well, it looks like a little bit of attention was given away. Ridley's left arm is not feeling all that great. Come on, keep running. You're faster than them. Yes. What we need to do is watch out for those crossbows. Oh boy, running the gauntlet now. Oh, a good strike, but Ridley's armor holds. And it looks like Ridley is free. Just keep on running. Don't let those crossbows get you. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, you've got this. They won't be able to keep up. Don't stop now, Ridley. Don't stop now. That is how we can do it. Ziff, thankfully, did end up back in here, which means that they will see attention eventually. The good kind. Ridley is bleeding, however. We're going to need to see to that as soon as we can. The others are still trying to escape. Stubbs is looking good. Well, my friend, we'll wait for the others. We'll see if some of them... Ah, Crag and Seto and Nermo. Just Oblum now. We'll wait then. And it looks like one has managed to keep up with Ridley here. Right on her. And we can actually see that bolt that ended up in her arm. But she is still running. And this Holy Sentinel is not given up yet, but is really not going to be able to strike Ridley for much, if any, damage at all. Looks like the others are starting to give up. Well, Oblum, you're the last one. Once you're good, we're making a break for this place. Come on, Oblum. We can hear those crossbows moving. It's going to take all of them running at the same time to have any kind of a chance to make it out of here. We just need to hope. Oblum is still trying. Getting better with each attempt. And finally, we are there. Now is the time. All right, we can see the gates are open. We are going to be running for stack. Make it if you can. We still have an ally here. They made it out. They all made it out. Well, they might have a chance to meet Sand. Ridley is already making it a decent distance away. Here they go. Our team's made it off the roof. Oh boy, this is going to be tough. For Nermo and Crag, things might not be so good. But for the others, they are most certainly in there with a chance. These two aren't going to be fast. But Oblum is Seto and Stubbs. Nermo is getting held back. So many of them are chasing us out of here. Oblum having a whole heap on them. Come on, don't stop now. Seto. Freedom is close. And Oblum is just sprinting. Keep going, keep going. I think Nermo is not going to make it here. Stubbs and Seto stand a chance. They're getting slowed down a little bit here. We've got a huge amount chasing after us. Come on. We can have them on block. I just hope that they won't stop to try and block. Let's see. Just keep it up. Keep moving. Seto is taking more hits than I would like. But she's tough. They're giving up on Oblum. They're coming back for Stubbs. Well, I wasn't expecting to break out now. But the opportunity was there. Ridley is still being chased, supposedly. The bleeding has stopped. And I think... Set oh, I could have spoken too soon. Let's say Seto is home free. Close. So, so close. Eventually, I think she's going to outpace them. Occasionally, we are getting struck. 
It's really just a battle of attrition here, how long they're going to want to try and stay chasing after us. Unfortunately for Crag and Nermo, they did not make it out of there. They were relatively fresh. I'm not surprised they're going to be stuck back here with Ziff for the time being. And Seto might be joining them. Just a little bit further, Seto. Eventually, they should give up. So far, they're sticking with. Keep it up, come on. Keep going, keep going. And finally, with that shot, she's dropped down. Although, there's a chance that they might leave her be. Stubbs is still on the run. Let's just start sneaking, my friend. We might be in with a chance. Seto is playing dead currently. I don't think someone's coming over towards her. We might be able to get lucky here. Let's run back, my friend. See if we can get back to pick her up. If we can, it'll be a hell of a move by Stubbs Muso. Run back. Yeah. We are in it to win it. And Seto is back up on their feet. You are not even going to need Stubbs to, uh, to pick you up there. And the others, I think, are far enough away, yeah, that they won't mind. Let's do first aid if we can. No medkits. Seto, you've got one for yourself. Seal up what you can. Ridley, <laughs> Ridley is still going. These two need to get a move on as soon as they can, though. They're not giving up yet, are they? Nope. All right, on the road, both of you. Time to go. I don't think any of those wounds are going to kill you, Seto. Let's just stay moving. Get down to stack, regroup with the others. And I think... Yeah, we've made it. <laughs> and I think this one was following us pretty much the entire way. Well, Ridley... Say hello to our new friends. And it's good to see an old one. Reunited once again. Oh, Beep, how are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I think you're okay now. Yeah, he's he's slowly recovering. I think he's just going to feel a little bit more comfortable hanging out on Sand's shoulder for the time being. Seto, Stubbs, keep on going. Don't give up yet. They'll be there. And that just leaves Ziff and Crag and Nermo back in the big house. Crag has been left outside for now and is in a recovery coma which does mean that they'll be able to just run on out of here when they awake for that I'm happy Obolum completely fresh running as fast as they can we can see that they're hungry they haven't lost too much of their form yet yeah we made it back from this somehow and some of the others have actually literally made it back this group will return home soon we will begin to rebuild and become stronger than ever before and after another chat in the bar we have some new folk that are following park following the legend the myth that has been built around these two in sand city that lays in the valley beyond we still have hope, we still have that fire inside, the will to extinguish the flame of the Holy Nation. Thank you all for joining me for another episode. If you enjoyed today's, consider leaving a like or a comment to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to our Legion on Patreon, who continue to make this content possible.